Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. It's another sparkling day here in Central Oregon. Kind of pretty, a little bit hazy. Uh, nice cool temperatures. I actually turned on the pellet stove this morning. And uh, uh, today is our Saturday, so Sherry's home. And tomorrow we're going on a, uh, a field trip to uh, Boring, or play <laughs> Boring, Oregon, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go look at uh, uh, Idaho pasture pigs at uh, Wilson Farms, and uh, so that's gonna be kind of fun. Uh, my son is gonna actually uh, come over and take care of the dogs, so just being Sherry, it would be a nice day and a road trip, the whole works, and uh, kind of looking forward to that. We haven't gotten out of the house much lately. And uh, we used to love, I don't know if you guys ever love road trips. I don't know what there is about road trips, but Sherry and I just, we used to go on just road trips out of the blue. And uh, I don't know if it's, well, the homestead has definitely changed that. Because when we lived in Phoenix, we actually did a lot more road trips. Um, and the COVID stuff hasn't been very helpful. But today, I want to talk about what my minister talked about. Um, being a man, being a manly man, and uh, uh, I'm sure everybody hears all that and stuff, but that's definitely one of the things in the family structure that has decreased. And uh, uh, so some of the things, I'm not going to get them all in order. Um, but uh, it starts off with faith. And why does it start with faith? Well, that gives men the principles of right and wrong. It's the parameters to guide us to be good men. And uh, one of the other things they mention is a good man can, needs to stay laser focused on the things that are important. Uh, especially if they're doing something uh, that per divides between good and bad. To stay focused. There's actually a, a saying that Bruce Lee used to have, is stay laser focused. And uh, on the task at hand. And of course, uh, one of the other things they mentioned is a man protects protects people around them. They protect their families. They protect their f neighbors. They protect those who need protection. And there's different ways of looking at that. Protection could be physical, but protection could be support. Protection could be a, a mindful thing. And, uh, Another is just having faith and understanding the principles of life. Men and women, male and female. We seem to have that problem in the humans, but chickens and dogs and cats don't seem to have any problems with those principles. Just humans. And last but not least, when it comes to faith, having a church that's focused on the truth, not by the will of the people. It's got to be a, a church that wants to teach everything, not just what makes us feel good. And uh, with those principles, you're guaranteed to be a, a man, a man that can provide, a man that uh, can protect, and, and it, protection, like I said, is all kinds of different forms. One of the examples is, uh, are you a, a, a person that if your family was in a burning house and you uh, had to run in to go save your children, would you go in? Or would you do what they recommend? Never, never run into a burning house because that's a man's um, a human, a human race kind of principle, uh, a human rule, where the Bible says protection. 
Would you go in and try to get your children out? Uh, I can't assume the answer to that of what you would say. But uh, even if you couldn't get them out, you'd be by their side at a very crucial moment. And you might not make it out. That's a man. I'm a, a person with protection that may uh, require a weapon. But we want, are you an evil person or a good person? A good person with a weapon is a man. But there's bad people with a weapon and uh, that's not a man. And when it comes to our household, I'll be, tell you the truth that there is structure. I, I could override almost all of our decisions here. I, I, <laughs> I don't exercise that. Um, sometimes when we had the kids at home, um, when they were kid, children, uh, sometimes I would just say, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to discipline. But I didn't have a weak wife either. So a lot of times I never had to go that route. But she knows there's a structure. We don't really talk about it. We just know that somewhere along the line, there has to be someone that can say no or yes. But that changes over age. Deep down in each other's soul, we know the basis of one another. Even if I had an argument, I've been with Sherry so long, deep down in her soul, I know where she stands, I know her loyalties. So, uh, I don't know, that's one of the big things I think is killing us for family structure for family problems, for males to, uh, you know, they're the ones that are cr uh, having suicides so young. A lot of our school sh shootings are always a, a, a male. And it's because I think we've just, we've messed with their heads too much. And to truly understand what it takes to be a man is not just brawly stuff. It takes faith. And faith teaches us right and wrong. And faith in our churches, those things teach us the principles of what is expected of us as males to perform at. And uh, we are different. And I mean, it's so obvious, scientifically, Physically, our strength is stronger as far as males are. We're built differently. doesn't mean that a woman isn't strong. It just means men are physically strong. <laughs> Women might be more mentally strong. <laughs> That'll never change. It's true with animals. It's true with our chickens. It's true with our dogs. It's true with our cats. It's true with whatever animal we bring on here. Each one has a function. That'll never change. Ever. And it doesn't change in, in humans either. And our schools and our churches are messing with their, uh, our kids' principles. And we need to pull it back. We need to... If we follow our, our church, we understand the principles of the Bible and really what we're supposed to be as males. I don't know if that helps you at all. I know if you don't want to hear it, you'll just talk to the hand. Um, but the thing is, is we're messed up. And unless we can bring it back, we're doomed. We're not in good shape at all. Um, our, our creator will turn their back on us. 
and uh, I think that's already started to happen. Anyway, it's food for thought. Just thought I'd bring it up. That's kind of how I see it. Uh, yes, I. Uh, there's a lot of things I do in our household that Sherry depends on me to do. And that's okay. And I, there's things that Sherry does, but I don't always expect her to do all the things that I do. And that's okay. <laughs> And we've been mar married 41 years and we met each other at seven, when we were only two, uh, seven years old. We've been together a long time. And uh, we've turned out some really good kids. And uh, we've been through our ups and downs. We were not perfect. We've made mistakes. But even with the, even the Bible says you're gonna make mistakes. And it's okay. As long as the fundamentals in your mind and what your principles are and what you're trying to accomplish and you stayed laser focused you're a man so guys i've got to go check around the, the homestead and see how things are running today well i'm in the greenhouse i stopped by i showed you yesterday my little miracle of my little sugar snap peas and uh they're, it's kind of hard to see but they're coming up flourishing away i'm just amazed so hopefully they'll uh mature enough to produce something before uh, it gets too cold but uh <laughs> so cool uh all the plants are looking good i think i've got yep it's looking really good my aphids under control that's a good thing um yeah if you uh see aphids and you don't treat them right away they'll engulf the whole plant so uh, i had one plant i could tell i had to pull it the other ones were just barely being attacked and uh treated them with neem, neem oil and a little bit of a uh maybe deterrent that's uh organic and it worked really well uh lettuce is looking really good and uh so uh we're not gonna starve uh, tomatoes, I pulled the ones I thought were ripening early. I'm kind of waiting for this guy right here. Um, as soon as he turns a little bit more red, I'll pull him. I see actually a full one right back here. Just a little guy. <laughs> That's a baby tomato. <laughs> I may have to just eat that out here. Uh, but yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, chickens are singing the chicken song next door. Which tells me there's a brand new egg in there. The chicken song. I don't know. I do see a couple more tomatoes getting ready to turn. So, yep. Beautiful day. Beautiful greenhouse. I tell ya. Gosh, my chickens. I gotta admit. I wasn't sure if I was going to like a greenhouse. And now I can't imagine life with a short season without them. Because it definitely extends your seasons. And uh, there's nothing cooler than the chicken song. Should we go see what they? Let's go see what they're singing about. Hi, girls. Are we laying eggs today? We are. Look at that. Yep, no secret. There's their eggs there, and we need to pull them. So, uh, nothing's cooler than the sounds of a homestead. And uh, hopefully by next year, we'll have some new sounds. So, uh, oh yeah, I, I guess I need to follow up on the uh, Idaho pasture pigs. So, as soon as I mentioned it to Sherry, it was like, are you kidding? But apparently, Sherry's had different kinds of pigs in the past. So she goes, all right, play a few videos. So we, uh, played uh, 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 simple uh, homestead traditions, uh, their evaluations of the Idaho pasture pigs and a couple others. And it's like, all right, let's, let's pursue and go forward. So uh, 
hopefully she's slowly buying into it. But uh, of course the other day Betty is where to put them on the property. So uh, we'll, we'll work it out. <laughs> yes, I'm still the manly man here, but I, uh, it's always important that your partner is on board and uh, we're in agreement and we have a plan. So yeah. <laughs> Well, let me take my little tomato over and we'll go check our strawberries. Well, I've been testing the strawberries. They're okay. And of course I've got a helper right here. Cinder says the strawberries are okay too. So, uh, yeah, I got some beautiful strawberries here and, uh, I'm just going to enjoy them while I still got them. I don't know how long they're going to last, but, uh, um, yeah, I love the strawberries. So today or this morning, uh, Sherry is going to make some egg McMuffins, you might call them. Uh, we bought some Canadian bacon from Costco and, uh, they come in large packets. So we're going to open it up, separate them out, and then put them like six per, uh, five or six uh, per package and then freeze them. But anyway, I'm kind of curious to see how well those come out. I'm kind of looking forward to that. And uh, we'll make a nice breakfast. Uh, then we gotta go. <laughs> so, <laughs> I made a video earlier about going to uh, Victoria's Secret. Well, what Sherry ordered wasn't what she wanted. There's a place across the street. And uh, the only reason I wanna go is I get to go have sushi again for lunch. Yes, yes. Anyway, so I have to go through the torture of another girlish store as she looks at bras. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'll still be the manly man going, you go to it, but I'm motivated by sushi. <laughs> it seems only right. So guys, um, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. I wanna take the time to thank you. Uh, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. And for you men out there, be men. We owe it to our families. And we owe it to our nation to uh, step up and uh, uh, be a man. So guys, have a great day and talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.